Oh. Yes. So, second session, picking up where we left off. The last thing we did was uh, take out uh, Papa Nito. We've got like 66,000 souls. Uh, we've got our Blacksmith Giant Hammer plus five. And somewhere around here should also be my Reinforced Club plus ten. I don't have the materials to upgrade that further, I don't think. And I don't remember if anybody sells me uh, Titanite chunks or large Titanite. Um, I think it's chunks that I need to go from uh, up to the next thing. So we are going to warp. Um, I'm going to go to... I want to go talk with Andre. Um... Okay, yeah, he's still just got the basic Titanite shards. It's never going to improve. And we're not going to have any cool modifications or anything at this point. So we're just going to run around with 66,000 souls. And, um, you know, it'll be hilarious to lose them. And knock this down and use this bonfire. So we can use the, the Crest of Artorias here to get through this door. This is kind of the difficult way of navigating this, because I have to run past a lot of guys. And I think this routing might be easier if I instead just kill the Hydra and go past the Hydra. I can't entirely remember, so I'm going to give this a shot and see what it's like. And I might adjust. We'll see. So we've got, like, the Covenant of Artorius dudes around here. There's a whole bunch of goons who fight like players. And they don't have disgusting HP because this is Dark Souls 1 and it's kind of a fair game. But I'm going to see if I can just, like, ignore them and make it to Sif. Which is, like, vaguely over this way. That's the door for Sif. One of those guys is still trying to follow me. It'll probably be okay as long as I don't get too turned around, run into some nonsense. Where is the bridge? It's like a bridge. Uh, some of the bodies around here are like traps, I need to remember. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. They're the large creatures. There are, like, some big cat things around here that I don't really want to tangle with. Okay, and down there is the Hydra fight. Right, right, right. How do we navigate this? Hey, it's going good. Sitting back down to try and finish up this run they started a while back. Is the bridge on the other side? Oh yeah, I was completely wrong about the location of the bridge. Oh, here we go, here we go. That's not so bad. Okay, let's go meet Sif. Ah, when I was doing my all-bosses run, I held off on this for as long as possible so that I could showcase um, Sif's other cutscene. Uh, but the recording didn't hold up for this bit. So I lost that footage. Uh, it sucked. So if you do the DLC before this, you get a different initial interaction with Sif. But all right, I haven't fought Sif in forever. Oh yeah, yeah. This is just like a nostalgia trip. And I came back, uh, and I'm doing this mostly so that I can, um, just so I can, like, do the game again with better audio and video quality. This is, like, the first thing I streamed when I was starting up in 2021, 2020. 
Ouch. Okay, maybe don't get hit like that. Ah, he got me. Basically, you just want to get underneath Sif and start, like, clubbing the crap out of him. Okay, so we'll have, uh, we'll have to run back. <laughs> now, Sif, I believe, is vulnerable to bleed, so my other weapon might be the better choice here. The, uh, reinforced club. There's a pretty big power difference until I can get the club up to plus 15. The plus 15 club... I believe is stronger than the Giant's Hammer plus five against a lot of bosses. Although the Giant's Hammer plus five still outclasses it for reach. <laughs> yeah, this is not really a bad boss run now that I've remembered which way to go. <laughs> Yeah, so I uh, I got through in the in cutting the footage, I got up through the fight with Quillag. So I've still got like three more hours of footage to um like cut and edit. Yeah, Sif will sometimes jump and reposition when you're uncomfortably close to him. And being uncomfortably close to him is your goal the entire time, so, eh. And let's do it again. He's deliberately screwing with me now. Stamina. Oh, no, no bleeds yet. There, there's a bleed. He's also behaving himself a lot better. See that? He's just, like, fixing the positioning for me. Don't speak too soon. Ouch. Oh, that's the one attack to not get hit by. Should be enough. A war at the whiff. And there's tragically the end of the great Grey Wolf Sif. Netting us the Covenant of Artorius. There's also a ring that's like behind the gravestone, uh, but we don't use it in this run. It's pointless to grab. Okay. Now we have to get through uh, the roughest section of the game, and I'm going to go ahead and use a Homeward Bone, so I don't have to run around more. I should have Homeward Bones in, like, my um, uh, select menu. So, let's see how well I can remember this running path. Because this is not a quick run. There's a lot to do here. And I'm going to be chased by a lot of ghosts. A lot of ghosts. Ghosts with grappling attacks. I don't know if there's a mechanic like this in Demon's Souls, but... 
To my knowledge, they have not reused a mechanic like this with a selectively invulnerable enemy. Worst part is that, like, you have collision with them. So you can totally collide with a ghost. The other worst part is that the game will absolutely employ, like, trap ghosts against you that do ridiculous stuff. Go halfway up this, take a drink. I need to check back over here. I think there was, like, a... Like a shortcut or something to open? No? Not up this way? Okay, this is the one to... That, that, that becomes a shortcut later if I can unlock it alive. All right, let's do the run again. I needed to hook a right after going down the spiral staircase. And yeah, if we're not using the transient curse and clearing out the ghosts, this is a very Dragon Slayer section where we're going to die for taking wrong turns. Okay, yeah, so I just need to get this first guy to approach a little and come out, because otherwise you can't fit in behind him. And then we take this down and get another random hit through a wall. Ghosts are super fun, guys. It's a great mechanic. Uh, kick ladder. I don't know that kicking that is important, because it's not the way we're going for now. We need to go over here instead. Let's see. Yeah, I had changed that. Don't fall. So I believe I need to do this. And then there's a thing I could jump to, but I'm not. And then it's into the main hall that's full of way too many ghosts. Nope, wrong way. Dead. Okay, I'm um, trying to remember this. Maybe it's that I go in here. So this is the main room. This is what we're going for. Okay. Uh, come on, come on! Uh, yeah, that's what we're trying to get up, and that's the thing. How do you climb that when a bunch of ghosts who don't care about, like, who don't need the floor, and don't care about walls, are trying to kill you? So, I've got one transient curse, and no alluring skulls. Oh boy, how are we gonna do this? So, I think it might be the ghosts who were coming in from here that caught me while I was in the central ladder. I'm gonna take a moment to see if they move over after me or not. Okay, doesn't look... Ah, uh, maybe it's you? Look, look, they're all over the place, man. Okay. So that little platform I can jump over to, um, that's a ring, I'm pretty sure. Okay, yeah, I, uh, my swing direction went out of control there. You see, the moment you step into this, uh, room, you've got ghosts coming at you from every single angle. Because they'll aggro on you through walls and stuff. Maybe the slumbering... Okay, so... We're gonna come back into Entangle with this room. Uh, but I think I'm gonna step into that room and then walk back out. And we'll see how many guys we can lure out of the building. Oh, look. A lot. There will always be ghosts behind you. Just take it for granted. They tethered, so I need to step back into their aggro bubble. They didn't fully tether. Super fun. Alright, any more for now? 
Can I go into the next room? Going into the next room is going to cause like four more to spawn, I think. I think her scream calls in more, but I don't remember. It might actually just be her personal super special aggro noise, which is okay. Oh, she can cast spells. A lot of spells. I don't know if I've ever seen that attack before. Okay. I'm going to give a little bit more time to make sure nothing else wants to come at me. Uh, all right, all right. No, no, just let me get up the ladder. There we go. Okay. So we do all that junk and we come talk to this guy. Use the key. You can go here early by killing this guy. The dark rapes reside partially below. If you can find him. Yes, he tells me about the seal. That's right, the seal's not here. You just need to talk to him to get the key. Oh boy, where else do I need to go from here? Uh that's right, it's like up on there. That's the spot I need to get to. Is there like a jumping point from here? I forget. No? Okay, so I need to get to that. Right, I need to get back out the back of this uh, chapel thingy. Hopefully without getting killed by ghosts, despite the fact that I have to slow walk down this. And there are ghosts, like, currently attacking me through the walls. It's awesome. Okay, yeah, so we have to get to the back half of this building. And out the back door. Saw you. Jerk. Should be kind of this way. Okay. Right, so we're down here now. Oh, my, tr my curse wore off right then. Perfect. Perfect. I would not have had it any other way. I feel like there's something valuable at the base of this staircase, but I don't remember what. Okay, here we go, here we go. This is the thing I need to do. And this opens the floodgates, which allows us to get into the lower part of An Orlando. Cool. It's also connected to the Valley of Drakes down there. Kind of see. Okay, um, this does not... Okay, now this contraption moves because the seal's open. And I think this is just an elevator that'll take us down. Okay. There's some some other stuff. It's like loot in this tower, I think. One or two important things. No? No Titanite chunks? Ugh. I do not remember where to go for Titanite Chunks. It's kind of important details. Ghost is looking at me funny. Okay. So, backtracking back from here to go where I need to go is a pain in the neck. So I'm just going to run around and grab some items. That's fine. I was going to go around on the rooftop and, like, grab that thing on the corner. But is these ghosts hit damage like or if it's, like, specific... Oh, right. I forgot. Can't hurt them. Um, is it, like, specifically piercing base? I don't remember. Okay, so I'm trying... What was the fall-off point for this? I think it's, like, right here is where I want to fall off. Okay, we've got a Dark Wraith over here, and I believe he's protecting an item that I want, so... Oh, rolled right into that instead of around it.
Oh, it's repost and backstab. Okay. Uh, it's true that if I was going to go after a bunch of uh, uh, black knights, backstabbing is the way to go for them. Is there another dark wraith around here? There's a guy. It's going to be fighting a few dark wraiths and exploring around a bit. I need to remember uh, how to get the... Um, oh, don't roll right into him. Jeez. I need to remember where the uh, biggest ember is for upgrading weapons. I remember the general vicinity. Like, if I get close, I'll be able to make it out. Okay, so this is like the basic entrance. I haven't come down here through the front door in forever. All I remember is uh, how to fall in. <laughs> Okay, so is this the part that's got the Legion and then, yeah, there's the Legion and there's like two Dark Wraiths in here? I'm gonna lure them out real quick, because I don't remember everywhere I need to go, so I need to take this a little slow. Double Dark Wraiths is pretty nasty, though. Ouch. They'll get me there. Hmm. I remember that what I'm trying to do in terms of that ember, I think it's around like the stables type of area and I need to take a ladder up. Okay, yes, yeah, so that's that, that's a kill plane, that's something. Uh, might be back over this way that I need to check out, actually. Yeah, okay, this is the general direction we need to be looking at. Dodge correctly. Block all you want. It don't work. That's the guy I was remembering being in the spot that I need to get through. Uh, so somewhere around here, I think it's on the other side of this... Are these soul masses? Whatever. Okay, so there's that Dark Wraith guy. Uh, was it here, maybe? No, this is the shortcut that takes me back up to where the ghosts are, isn't it? Yep. Hooray, more ghosts. Just what everybody wants. Looks like one of the Dark Wraiths might have gotten exploded. Which is pretty funny. Excuse me? Okay, yeah, I think it's up this spiral staircase, and then, uh, like, oh no, no. Mm. Oh, it's around here somewhere. Looking for a box. Very important. There we go. Most important chest in the game. A very large ember. Like how it's a, you know, an, an absurdly important upgrade item. It's just very large. That's really all they needed. The other ones just weren't big enough. That's, that's the only problem. I don't remember what's through here. Hey, buddy. Oop. You do not stagger. <laughs> Okay, so now we're exploring around to get uh, some Titanite chunks, and we've got a couple options for that, so I'm actually going to um, warp around a bit. So we run up to the top of this. Hey, buddy. Ow. He cleaned my clock a little bit. He's still doing it. No, roll, why? I was holding back, uh, but the roll locked in on going forward. It was determined to send me catapulting into him. So I don't know why it, like, it did not allow me to correct for distance at all. Let's do that again. I am 
buffering some dodges like it's nobody's business. This is not a comfortable spot to fight him in. There we go. We got him! There's one chunk. There we go. It's also just an annoyingly short little platform. Okay. And of course there's a bunch of things to loot if you step off of here to one side or the other. Um, we want to use... Snugly. I think Snugly's on a lower platform than this? Or is Snugly in the rafters of the church? Whatever. I'll, I'll come back for Snugly after I do the, um, the Asylum Return stuff. So I think I'm gonna have to look up the, the Snugly table. Let me grab my cell phone and look it up on the cell phone real quick. Man, you really have to wait here a while. Yes, one stuff of trees. Okay. Well, that loading. Extra life page. Let's start on in here. Torch hollows are no less deadly. Please tell me that respawns me after the trip. Oh, I have to do the jump again. Might slow me down. Okay. Yes, taking the torch hollows more seriously. Okay, I think a screw-up on fighting this boss is easily possible. So, we are going to use the bonfire over here. Ooh, I didn't know that there was a, an exclusive animation for that. Yeah, the Nito Secret Covenant is pretty neat. I think I think it, it does not get a lot of play, because you have to be really late in the game to access it. Big berth on that. That also causes a blast, but that one's more frontal. That's the floor blast. You see, that one's pretty big and it reaches behind him. That whiffed for no, no reason. Ah, cool. That's a very generous pattern. That's Stray Demon. Cool. Okay, so there's the Titanite slab we'll need for that uh, weapon upgrade. 
I just need to get a whole bunch more chunks. Uh, there's also a Black Knight here. Oh, that's true. You know, if you're good at running the catacombs, you can get there pretty fast. I am not good at running the catacombs. <laughs> I do think the catacombs is a really, like, cool area in terms of the design. Full of secrets and stuff. Ow. No thank you. Okay. I did not manage my hit stun well there. That's a bummer. So we're going to kill this guy for some chunks. And then I could go into uh, the forest area for some. Oh, yeah. That's that's the big reason why I hate doing that early. That's kill? Yeah, that, that'll kill me. I really can't get hit by the first stab if I want to do good at this. Um, this corridor is usually too narrow to flank this guy and get a backstab on him. You have to fight him a little bit more honestly. There we go. Just tucked him past him. I think that's not a one-shot on this, but it's close. Ah, uh, he's only good for a red Titanite chunk. Well, look at you. Uh, boss point. There. Okay, so I think there's one, like, behind one of these guys, is what it was saying. Oh, I couldn't roll out of that. I stopped mashing halfway through. All right, there's a lot of dark wraiths, and I have to be, I have to respect some dark wraith positions. Thank you for leaving me room to take this left. Okay, so oh, it was right here. Silly. Here. Thank you. I don't remember which direction they spawn in or whatever. Yep. Please not the purple homing death beam, you jerk. So, I have a lot of difficulty with this fight for a couple reasons. Um, mostly because I can't judge ranges very well. Uh, also because their purple homing laser is nonsense. And lastly, the thing I struggle with is um, just the fact that their swords are kind of range yes. Um, they will hit you. You don't really have the chance to heal up between anything. Okay, now I can use my dead souls as a marker for where the boss is going to spawn. And you want to keep swinging at the corpse uh, for these guys, because the corpse can still take damage. We do not want to collect our souls, so I want to keep using it as a marker like that. Don't back away from me. The 
It did like a weird partial stagger. Oh, that's like a burst thing? I forget how these attacks work. Don't do that. Not the purple magic. Okay, so we had another one spawn up. First, slurp. Facing is a little off. Okay, so we'll need to go halfway into the fourth king. Nice. Like a lot of other Dark Souls 1 enemies, if you hug them, they whiff a lot of stuff. So you just gotta you just gotta get there and hope that their purple magic doesn't like loop back around and hit you in the back. Especially for like the first couple of guys. If you get the first two kings down correctly, um a lot of the stress will drop out of the fight.